So this is where the panels are before being put into the machine. Okay. This is the machine that is controlled by our office upstairs. And uh, whenever you guys do a design, okay, the program gets automatically here and the guy knows how to, the panels has to be fabricated. It's gonna do drilling, routing, and all the necessary fabrications that are gonna bring the final well, panels. Here in, in this computer, when we design something in the showroom, you know, they click send the order to the factory. It comes to these, to these programs. And these machines are tied together to do the drilling and the customizations that we do. Yes, goes to the office first, office reviews the whole thing, and then when it's done and confirmed and approved, they send the order down here and the machine knows what to produce and how to produce automatically. Awesome, okay. And these panels are once they've already passed the machine. Exactly, these are all panels, they're all stuck here together. And on this side, you have the shorter panels. This is step one of our production line, and uh, this is the pressing machine. Okay. So the panels are coming from the other machine, they're pre-assembled here by the worker and put into the pressing. Now, pressing has several lines. One is meant for tall units and the other two are made for shorter units. The software automatically knows how tall the cabinet is and splits that into the belonging line. Okay, David, let's go see step two. Perfect, okay. And, all, and then between step one and step two, everything is connected, right? Yes. By these machines. Absolutely. Okay. The lines are actually connected and are bringing the cabinets to step two automatically. What is this machine here? This is the pressing machine for taller units. For taller units. And that line is for base units. For shorter units and upper cabinets. And upper cabinets as well, okay. Now, this is the beginning of step two of the production. As you can see, the cabinet is coming out from the pressing machine and this is the status, this is how it gets here, kind of like undressed. From now on, this is very manual. The people are gonna start installing all the accessories, the doors and all the necessary things to finalize the cabinet. Okay. So this portion here, you would say it's more of the handcrafted portion? Yes. Because there's a blend between automation and handcraft. Absolutely, this is a very big plus. It's 50-50, you know? Got it. So all these boxes are in line to continue down all the way to the end. And as we move forward, you can start to see the cabinets actually being more complete. Yeah. Because as we move forward, people are getting more things in and they're preparing this for step three, which is the actual packaging station. So these are just boxes, carcass, and at some point they're gonna start adding the mechanisms, the finished fronts, doors, and all, stuff. And all the other. Okay. Nice. And Francesco, what is, what is this label for? What is the ID for? Yeah, this is the ID of the cabinet. This label has all the information of the cabinet and where it belongs in the kitchen. This is super important for you guys and also for production because they know which doors are gonna be installed in that specific cabinet. Yeah, because if not, how else, how else would you know? How would you recognize right. with this amount of cabinetry? So this portion, I see finished cabinets now. So I would say this is probably like part two of step, step two. two. Exactly. exactly. Now, we're, as we're going down, we're approaching to the packaging station. Okay. This is the end of, of step two, actually. So at this point, we have a completed cabinet. Exactly. Cabinet is ready. Now, they're gonna slide all the way down there where there is a person cleaning down every single cabinet. Okay. And uh, they're gonna be prepared for packaging. Perfect. As we're approaching, uh, on the right-hand side, we have our boxes, or the cardboard boxes, okay. protection film wrap, and corner protection. Every single cabinet has these elements to prevent any damage during transportation, installation, and all of that. All right, so we've seen step one, which is where the kitchen is born. We design a project based on the client's needs in Miami. You guys get the file, and these computers are automated to follow that file. Then it goes into step two, which is a handcrafted process, building the box, adding the finished fronts, and now we've made it to where we have a completed cabinet. Yes. What happens next? Now, this is step three. Okay. This is where we actually package a cabinet. Very awesome. There's an automatic machine that seals down the packaging, closes the boxes, and sends them into the automatic warehouse, all automatically. So, cabinet comes here, has the cardboard box with the Pedini logo on it, and presses it together to prepare for warehouse. Exactly. This is the very end of step three. 
as you can see, there is a cabinet here which is going to be ready uh, to be sent into the warehouse. So this is the last point of production. Exactly. From here, it goes into this elevator, mm -hmm. takes it up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, they're being stored over there. So David, this is the end of production. Okay. This is the end of step three. From now on, all the cabinets are being sent in the warehouse with the robots and they're going to be ready for loading. Okay. And how, does, how, do, how do they get there? There is an elevator that lifts them up and brings them over there with this rail system. Solar aromatic is very, very fast and very, very modern plants. Perfect. What is this? This caught my attention when I walked in. It's two big, massive machines. Good question. This is where we stock our hardware. Basically, these two robots are smart enough to understand what kind of components you guys need for your kitchen, and uh, they're gonna automatically bring them down so that our guy can take one of those crates, one of those boxes, and pack things together and send them to the production line. Okay, so this, they, when we send a file to you guys, it already knows what hardware yes, it needs? absolutely, yes. Wow, okay, interesting. And has all, every, from there to there is a storage? Yes has a multiple trays with multiple layers. And uh, as you can see, he already knows at the beginning where to put things. It's moving the things inside automatically too. Okay. And this is for the production team? Absolutely. Okay, perfect, awesome. Now, what do you think is this? Um, I think this is a, a very big robot that stores the cabinets in each box. Exactly. Now you see that this robot works on a rail so automatically goes back and forth, and when production sends the cabinet here through the elevator, it's going to store them in the right place. And when it is time to ship, it's smart enough to understand where the cabinets are, and uh, it's going to bring the cabinets back to the elevator and down to the loading dock that we're going to see now. Okay, and so it knows where every kitchen is. Absolutely, yes. It never forgets. It's just whenever you call it, boom, goes. Sends it. Exactly. Nice. So David, this is the loading dock. Okay. Whenever it is time to ship a kitchen, the cabinets are coming down from the elevator into the belts. These belts are actually extending 40 feet inside your container. So it is easier for the people to move them down and move the cabinets gently without risk of damaging them. Perfect.